so as we uh, sort of wind down into this, um, uh, the, the term, uh, I wanted us to sort of bring us to um, the, the, the way in which I feel as though there is some sort of um, additional work that, that takes place outside of just these traditional like, academic spaces that I think ethnic studies um, allows one to inquire about. Um, and that's um, through art. And I think art is a really important um, way in which ethnic studies um, and what we learn in ethnic studies can, can provide some, uh, an additional outlet um, for unpacking some of the more um, challenging or more difficult um, aspects of our um, of, of, of our society, and, and whether it's you know something as as as, uh, as simple as a poem that, that one writes, or or a reflective writing piece, or you know, or, or maybe a piece of like a, like a mural on the side of the building, or any sort of you know, or music, right? These are ways in which um, many can sort of um, you know work through, and so. Um, in terms of like unpacking some of the some of the more challenging sort of um, you know ways in which we want to envision change, right? And, and so I think this is why I you know I put art in protest, right? And like this sort of historical perspective and, and sort of responses to um, to to the history, to the, to the dark history of, of American um, uh, sort of the, the, the building blocks of American society. And I think it's also important how we can rethink, um, you know, what what it is that an artist's role is when they create art, and and how can we sort of, um, you know, have a conversation, you know, through art. You know, I, I've worked with, you know, artists in the past, or or have engaged with artists in the past, or, or even just seen, you know, really sort of strong pieces. And I think that's where I want us to sort of find ourselves in a space where we can sort of be more um, exploratory with our understanding of how we can channel some of those um, um, maybe internalized sort of historical sort of, um, you know, reference points that we might find that is very, that can be very challenging for one to sort of unpack in, in words, right? Sometimes words are very hard to explain or, um, you know, we're not, in, in the right headspace to sort of write this sort of tome of like emotions. So I think it's really important that we have other outlets um, and we as in like, you know, uh, when we uh, unpack, right, when uh, a lot of these terms like uh, systemic racism, um, the Japanese incarceration, you know, um, anti-blackness, et cetera, when we're talking about these terms, I think it's really important for us to understand what that really, um, how that that can be reflected upon, um, you know, our own sort of uh, understanding of how the, the emotional toll that takes a, that takes place. And so that's why um, I, I always like leaning on sort of, the, you know, the arts to, to allow that space that I think a traditional um, classroom uh, cannot offer. And, and so that's why I, I allow that space in, in a lot of my classrooms. So I'm hoping that this is a, you know, the class allowed you to, to sort of move and sort of navigate through that space and sort of to, to get a stronger understanding of what it means to be, you know, a person of color and, or, you know, um, you know, a person of that sort of identifies as or is part of the marginalized community. Um, and, um, you know, how, how does it sort of allow us to sort of reshape our identities, right? Because I, I think, you know, when, when we're talking about these sort of, you know, uh, the, the deep impact of, of how social change happened, um, I, I, you know, I, I think we saw a huge sort of spark maybe in the 1960s and 1970s of the sort of, um, you know, uh, sort of societal reform that happened. But I think, it, you know, there, there's a lot more work to, to be done and, and it could be more longitudinal and it could take a lot longer, you know, for us to sort of get to a, a place where, um, you know, uh, society is more uh, equitable, right, and more appreciative of the diversity um, of, of, of different communities. But but before we get there, I think it's important that, that art, you know, throughout history has, has been able to sort of uh, give space uh, of not only um, understanding and identity, but also of resistance. And, and I think that's where I want us to, to walk away with too, where, um, you know, maybe we do run into some of these, you know, uh, very complicated sort of social situations in, in an individual or, or societal level. And there are ways that we can sort of uh, move beyond, um, 
you know, like the, the more traditional um, sort of um, moving beyond more of the, from just the traditional, okay, I, I took this class in ethics study, so therefore I have to write a paper, right? I want it to be more of a, an exercise. Well, you know, like uh, after this class and say you, you are, you know, you run into sort of a situation or you're, you're unpacking something that's very, you know, um, um, sort of challenging to, to overcome that, that you can always turn to something that's that's maybe outside of just maybe one's comfort zone or one's assumption that this is the only way to, to sort of um, your, express your understanding and then maybe some of the conundrums and confusion that you run into with um, within a particular field. Um, so that's why I want to sort of present this as a, as a token of um, sort of, uh, of appreciation for, for what y'all have done to this point, um, but also an appreciation for the, the, the artists that have sort of put together um, some really uh, strong pieces. Um, so that is the, the big takeaway from this particular lesson. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully um, um, we get to discuss further um, in, in, the column, in the next couple of uh, or the final remainder of, of the term.